Today we're going to look at the features of one of our free virtual manipulatives available on the Didax website. You'll find a link to these tools right on our homepage, as well as some free activities that use the manipulatives. Let's look at the features of the number line tool. From the virtual manipulatives page, I'm going to select the number lines tool. This will open the number line in a new window. This is a very straightforward tool. Uh, I can change the length of the number line by choosing different starting and ending numbers. So I want my number line, for example, to go from negative 10 to 10. I can put in those values and click go, and it will give me uh, a number line in that range. If my number line is longer, and sometimes we find that they run off the ends of the screen, you'll find up here at the top of the screen there is a scroll bar that I can use to move from one end of the number line to the other. But I'm going to go back to negative 10 to 10. And so I do have a couple other options. You'll see I have here show answer. Uh, and Let me show you what happens. Uh, for example, if I click on a point, I'm going to click on 0 here, and then I click on another point, like here at 5, it's going to tell me plus 5. If I then click on another point, it'll tell me, uh, you know, I've jumped back 3 now. So I could use this to model addition problems, subtraction problems, even multiplication problems uh, on the number line. I have a, a red arrow over here, that's my undo button. I can click that and it will clear the things I've done previously. So I can actually explore positive and negative numbers if I wanted to know uh, 0 to 4 or uh, and then to positive 4. It's going to tell me uh, what that looks like. So I went 4 to the left, 8 to the right. Where did I end up? I ended up at 4. If I uncheck the show answer box it will um, remove those uh, plus and minus values and give me a space where I can think about writing those in. So from 0 to 5 that means I went plus 5 so I can actually type that into the tool. And then back here that would be minus 6 and I could type that in as well. And then finally I have the red reset button that's here. If I click on that it takes me back to my initial settings of negative 10 to 10 and clears everything off the number line. Thanks for watching, and remember that you can access all our free virtual manipulatives on our website, www.didax.com.